Howdy everyone, it's me once again. The one and only Killer Dan. And today, I'm going to be about movies, of course. Oh, Hollywood, you do have a nasty habit of making some of the worst sequels of all time. Oh boy, folks, I could have easily filled this entire video just talking about these unnecessary sequels that are so painfully bad that it even hurts to speak about them. So, it doesn't matter what the genre is, horror or whatever. If the film is pointless, oh boy, you will know. And even in animation, the bad sequel syndrome isn't going to be staying behind. Even in action, of course, you see this happening, oh boy, because it just proves to live up to the stereotype that sequels are just simply there just to make a quick cash in, and that's it. While there are, there are plenty of bad sequels, some are worse than others, and there's plenty of these to go around, folks, so that's the thing, folks. I personally could, you know, not really care much for sequels, really. And that's the thing, folks. And, and I, I guess you can say this kind of a theme right here, as you can see. So, I know I've been talking about lots of sequels before in the past. And some, like I said, are worse than others. Why are others just flat out bad? And that's the thing. So, I guess you can say that's kind of the theme here in this video, as you can see. So I do want to have sequels in mind when I'm making a certain list. So this is going to be another top 10 list for Walt Disney Studios. This time around it's going to be about their animation. More well, specifically, I'm going to be talking about top 10 animated Disney films that never received any sequels. And thankfully so. These sequels never never made. These films or just okay as standalones. These films I'm about to bring up didn't have to make a lot of money. They just have to be good films from the start, even if maybe some of the reviews for them were pretty bad. This can be hand-drawn animation or even CJ animation. These films can be made from any director, from any decade. These films don't necessarily need to win any kind of awards to make it on this list. They just have to be good and of course, they never should have a sequel. Of course, you do have to keep in mind, folks. I'm not going to bring up every single one. There's going to be quite a few that I may left out for whatever reason. So, just remember that. So, with that being said, folks. Let's just dive right into the list, shall we? So, yeah. Here we go. Let's just get into this list. Because there's quite a few I do have to bring up. Make it at number 10 is Dumbo. The story is centering around this elephant with his big old ears. And he must join this kind of lifestyle with this mouse. So, it's rightfully that this film never got a sequel. One time, it's just good enough. This film is delightful, it's charming in its own little way. And I personally believe that this was definitely a pretty enjoyable film at the time. Yes, yeah, quite old, but. I don't mind really. At number 9 is The Black Cauldron. Often listed as Disney's worst animated film, which honestly I didn't think it was that bad. I like this story sounding around these two characters, and they have to go on this wider adventure. And if you ask me, this, this has to be one of the most underrated films ever. I actually thought it was quite good. I highly recommend it because the story is nice, and I really did enjoy the animation as well. So, it's not that bad of a movie, really, if you ask me. Making it number 8 is The Sword in Stone. The story for this film centers around a, a poor young boy named Arthur, who learns about the power of love, kindness, knowledge, and bravery with the help of this version. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little feature. And thankfully, it never received a sequel. And the plot would have made things worse with a needless, needless story and whatnot. 
So check this one out folks if you haven't. One of the few Disney Princess movies to never receive a sequel. Snow White and Seven Drawers makes it a number seven. And the story for this one centers around this character. And yes, of course, it is Wicked's stepmother. And the princess must, you know, be kind hearted. So overall, folks, this is definitely a classic that thankfully, again, never received the sequel. It's just good enough to be all by itself and leave it alone. Make at number six is Wally. Wally centers around this robot. And of course, he goes to this adventure. The story takes place in a distant future where this small waste collecting robot does come across another robot whom is female. So, let's just say things become pretty crazy from that point. This one is a pretty interesting story, great animation, and great voice acting from the human characters. So, I really did enjoy this one as well, folks. The CJ animated film titled Up makes a number of five where these two characters have to travel to Paradise Falls and let's just say that it is not exactly as easy as it seems of course with these balloons involved and this whole backstory this was really good folks it's definitely one of the best animated films out there even if it's CGI it's quite emotional right in the beginning with a strong story and I really did enjoy this one too Well, here's one that hardly anyone brings up, actually. Making it at number six is this little adventure, this animated ad adaptation of a book followed by this individual. Let's just say things become pretty crazy for him. But of course, he has to make it through to prove that he's actually worth it, I guess you can say. So, this is an interesting one, I should say, folks. Yeah, he has his own little thing going on, that's for sure. Make at number five is the Sleeping Beauty. Again, another rare Disney princess film that didn't re receive a sequel. The young princess, when she was small, was snugged from the royal family, and there was this fairy. Well, I guess you can say this particular individual that plays a curse on this fairy, which only a prince can break. This one is definitely classic. I honestly, it's one of my favorites, folks. Make at number four is Pinocchio, Disney's version. Well, this character, this puppet, so to speak, is brought back to life. And let's just say, with the help of this cricket to be his conscience, must prove himself worthy to be a real boy. So, this one is a pretty good one, folks. And it's definitely old school. It's probably one of the oldest films on this list. But thankfully, it would never receive the sequel, and it never ever should move. Make it number three is Meet the Robinsons, which sits around this young boy that's really brilliant. This inventor who meets this mysterious stranger. And let's just say that things do become rather interesting as the story progress. This one is a really good one as well, even though it's in CGI. Great story, great music, just about everything about this film is really delightful. So, I do recommend this one too, folks. Make it a number two is Zootopia, which sits around this bunny rabbit who wants to become a cop because she wants to become more than what her ordinary life would be. Wants us to do something horror. And of course, meets up with this other character, and things become rather crazy. It's pretty admirable, but that's okay. So overall, a really good film as well, folks. A top-notch made film. Again, even if it's in CGI. Alright folks, right before I get into my number one spot, I do have some honorable mentions. So, here we go. Now this one was originally supposed to get a sequel, but it never went through for whatever reason. And he's the one with cats. If you're an animal person, I guess you can say. This one is definitely worth taking. Here's a really old one as well. I think not exactly the the most popular one but still and this one wasn't too bad as well folks so I can say that I quite enjoyed it 
too. And I guess this was more somewhat recent. Moana is a quite enjoyable treat as well. So I must see. Another honorable mention would be the film Brave, which never got a sequel. It probably would have been dead arrival because it mostly got bad reviews. And from the general Disney fan base, it was lukewarm, which is a shame because the film actually wasn't all that bad, really. I personally enjoyed it, folks. Make a number one, the original animated film, Alice Wonderland, where it centers around, you guess it, Alice going on Wonderland, and let's just say a bunch of wacky, crazy stuff goes on. Probably the very first film of Disney that really got me interested in this kind of a thing. Just unfortunately, it was a box office flop at the time, even though it probably got a caught following over the years. I'll say check it out anyway. So, like I said before, folks, I know there's quite a few of these I missed. There's a lot of them I could have mentioned, but anyway, Walt Disney himself always felt that. It was always unnecessary to make a sequel, so he was a type of person that never cared for sequels to begin with. Can't hardly blame the man. He always felt that it's just a one-time thing and that's good enough. A standalone film needs to be left untouched. Well, sequels do have a reputation of being bad, and that's true. So, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, oh yeah.